Hi friends and friendly subscribers, welcome back to my channel. This is Inner Hill Tarot and today we're going to do unboxing, silent flip through and personal take of this indie deck called The High Tarot but created by Dan Francis. And I don't think this is a very new deck, it's actually it's from 2019, an era before COVID, the last hurrah. <laughs> the time when our body is free from the covid vaccine actually so yeah let's see how things how is this deck still resonated in this time of day okay and yeah i i've the reason i'm interested in this tarot deck is because one time i saw uh esotero using this deck and i was like what kind of deck is this It's so beautiful and it's not uh, being marketed a lot in the uk at this moment i think so when i saw one uh, for sale in the uk i just snatched it and it's also with a good price so i'm really happy the only thing is this deck doesn't come with guidebook you guys know how much i love guidebooks so it's a little bit wah, wah, you know but i think i believe there is a pdf version of the guidebook if any of you find or have it please let me know or send it to me because i need to know what is going on with this deck okay so if you're new to my channel please don't and stumbling upon this video please don't forget to subscribe share and comments because that's the fastest way for you to help my channel to keep on growing thank you so much guys and enjoy the silent flip through okay
モンティOkay hey guys, we just finished the sign and flip through and I just want to say uh, first before we do any hot takes um, about how the quality of the cards in itself, it felt like butter to me and it's something that any, um, it's very, yeah, it's very standard for indie deck, I think. A good indie deck, uh, it's always have like a very, very beautiful uh, paper quality like this. So I'm really happy that I got this deck with like very affordable price, actually. But looking at the card itself, um, my personal take of this deck is a bit confusing because at the same time also exciting. Confusing it's not necessarily a bad thing because um, sometimes you just want to have a new uh, relationship with an uh, with an archetype of uh, yeah you just want to have a new relationship right but sometimes seeing imagery that very far removed from a system that you used to like for me is Raider Rice Smith it's kind of confusing a little bit on how am I going to work with this deck kind of thing but I think what I'm going to do is actually comparing uh, pairing it with Akta Spaman and making it into like um, Taro Oracle because uh, first of all the color I think it could be similar and exciting and I think the energy has this kind of like a little bit of aloof energy in it but at the same time also like it's kind of inviting you to um, work with it deeper to understand more what is it trying to say kind of thing and but I mean some cards is quite clear like for example the seven of cups with the monkey of course you know with this type of energy of illusion and trying to move from place to place to place of course the monkey is a good representation of this archetype energy for example but then the sheep i don't understand what is going on <laughs> with eight of cups you know so this kind of thing and with the ten of cups and in the spell i totally agree actually and it's a really beautiful ten of cups uh card because what is happiness if like your your intention your wish basically what you're trying to do in in uh, this earth is aligned with the stars in the sky and everything goes well into um your will kind of thing actually this is also the back of the card so it's such a beautiful ten of cups card in my opinion right but then the sunfish has page of cups i don't understand what's going on here you know so it's a very interesting deck because some of the cards uh, read very very well um and some of the cards is like what the hell is going on here i don't know maybe i should ask esotero to give like um like a fast course for this deck actually i will try to send a message to her okay guys so that is basically my fast um personal take 
of this high tarot please let me know if you like it if you already work with it because it's not a very new deck if you enjoy it if you're not enjoying it and you don't want to use it anymore or you love it it's one of his, your favorite let me know in the comments because then i'm also learning from you not and we grow together okay um and yeah that's basically it and please don't forget again to subscribe share and comments because it's the fastest way for you to help me to grow this channel and thank you so much guys and see you in the next video bye bye